All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the closing bell on Wall Street. That was Shell. And uh, we didn't get shelled today. Sorry, Greg, I took mine over yours. Uh, joining us now, he's back uh, from being a little under the weather because he knew the market would go positive today. He was getting mm-hmm. real tired of the negative, negative, negative. Uh, Rob Williams, Newsmax Deputy Financial uh, Editor, is here. And uh, the Closing Bell Report. And let's take a look at those numbers, Rob. We have the uh, Dow up 191 points to 17,512, mm-hmm. breaking that five-day losing streak, still down for the week, though. NASDAQ up 63, S&P up 26. Uh, so um, to what do you attribute today's turnaround, sir? Well, we, we saw a lot of uh, positive things happen. Uh, for one thing, Germany's stock market reached an all-time high, as expectations are that uh, the European Central Bank will begin doing stimulus next week. Also, things like oil steadied, and uh, we rebounded from uh, the news yesterday that the Swiss National Bank was uh, not going to be uh, support pegging its currency to the euro anymore. Yeah, and, and, and you mentioned the factory uh, production numbers uh, were up and, and look good. Right. Um, it, it's funny, though. I mean, you know, we had a great day. It, it, it rallied uh, late. Um, and oil, uh, oil up mm-hmm. about 5% today, correct? Uh, yes, that's right. It, it helped the energy companies and then set a positive tone for the overall market today. All right. So uh, I know that uh, the markets are closed on, on Monday as we look ahead for, uh, briefly for a second to next week. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the European Central Bank uh, meets uh, next Thursday, and that is something that could certainly uh, affect the markets one way or another. Well, yeah, that's right. I think uh, that, that's why the uh, Swiss decided not to peg their currency to the euro anymore because they just couldn't afford to do it. Any, uh, they'd been buying euros, buying euros, trying to uh, to keep their currency supported. But now the world is going to get flooded in euros, so the Swiss finally gave up on it. Uh, I, the way they handled it wasn't good. It was very sudden. They should have tried to let the market down easy because people lost billions of dollars yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, now, let me ask you about this. Uh, the New York Post's uh, Twitter account uh, and UPI were uh, reportedly hacked. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, UPI, uh, someone had them putting out, I believe, a, a, a tweet, if mm-hmm. I'm not mistaken, that said that uh, China had fired a missile at a U.S. warship. Now, w- when something like that happens, uh, at first, you know, you don't know that, that it was done by hackers. Did the market, did it, did it spook the markets at all? Well, it's funny. Uh, the, the markets actually started to spike upward, uh, which is surprising when you, you think about a headline saying that uh, World War III may be starting because China attacked one of our ships. Which they didn't, but we want to make it clear <laughs> no. to folks they did not. It was a hacker that got into their account that put that story out. Anyway, go ahead. Right. Yeah. Well, right. Investors seem to shrug that tweet off and looked at another fake tweet that said that Janet Yellen had called an emergency meeting and was going to do something to stimulate the, the economy. So spikes started to rush upward all of a sudden. Yeah, it was amazing. That, that is yeah, uh, kind of the uh, opposite effect of what they probably were aiming to do. Target right. fell 2%. We know they're closing uh, a, a lot of stores, 130 mm-hmm. stores, and, and it's going to affect uh, 18,000 workers. Um, mm-hmm. th- this is uh, obviously not good news for, uh, for them or for the entire economy. Well, no, and I think uh, you know after trying to make it work in Target, uh, uh, try, excuse me, trying to make uh, in Canada, yeah, in Canada, that's right. They finally gave up. They just couldn't seem to get it right. They had distribution problems. They had problems uh, stocking store shelves with basic things like uh, laundry detergent. And I think ultimately, with the oil price falling, it's going to hit the uh, the Canadian economy and hurt consumers there. All right, Rob, well, good to talk to you. Of course, the markets close Monday, as we mentioned. We'll speak mm-hmm. to you on Tuesday. Rob Williams, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to take control of your financial future, check out moneynews.com live 24-7. And uh, if uh, Rob continues to um, heal and uh, get better and progress in his quest for 100% health, we'll have him sitting back here with us live in the studio. <laughs> Little inside baseball there. Okay. Uh, all right, great job, Rob. Give me five is next, folks. <laughs>